Leanne killed Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko. Then Leanne got executed. And Shihiro. Mondo. Hifumi and Taka. Celeste. And that brings us up to now. I almost want to see Hifumi's execution. <laughs> Like I said, I'm pretty sure they designed or like they conceptualized an execution for everyone. They just didn't use all the executions, obviously. Yeah, I thought they like made it into one. Like you can. No, watch I don't. No, no, they didn't. Some people made like fan versions of them, but don't look th up stuff online for yeah. the same reasons I've been saying. Yeah. The next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. So now there's only five of us here. It is getting small. Only a third of the number of people we started with. Loneliness has become commonplace. That's true. Still. What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Soccer is the mastermind spy? Can that really be true? She's long since going Super Saiyan. Makoto, are you okay? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone else that much more. And it would splinter the group. Okay, in that case, let's eat till we pass out. Will it be donuts? Huh? What do you mean, in that case? <laughs> well, cause look how scary everyone looks. What? How scared? Maybe that's what you're trying to say? It's gotta be cause you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? It probably is. <laughs> Probably meant to be scared. It's prob I think scary can work in that situation too. And how everyone looks like they're in a disposition where they might actually do something. That sort of thing. I guess. If you fill your belly, I'm sure you'll all cheer up. So let's eat. Okay. Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. Fish and donuts. That sounds horrible. But the fish sounds okay. I don't know about the donuts. I don't even like fish. It's like a deep impact style. Meteor impact since you'll have a combination of foods. What? Those are both breakfast time top sellers. Donuts, probably. Fish, not so much. Probably in Japan they are. Still, mm. well, you, I don't I think you underestimate how popular seafood is in Japan. It's one of the most popular like mm. seafood places in the world. I'm trying to remember the, from all the anime and bullshit I've watched over the years, if I can remember what is typical breakfast food, the only thing I can think of is the stereotype cliche of the schoolgirl running sushi. to school late with a piece of bread in her mouth. Sushi or rice? Um, sushi always I, has. I don't think that's necessarily a breakfast food, though. Hmm. I think that's probably a wrong assumption. Still, the till we can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. I see. That's right. Since the glass trial is over, new areas should have opened up. It's true. Monokumo slash. Plus. Plus, we still have alter ego. We don't have to give- You would say that in front of the cameras. Give up into despair just yet. She's right. We have to plan ahead and think about the future. Yeah, yeah. Think happy thoughts, not deathly thoughts. You know? Deathy, deathy, deathy. Huh. Like, when we're gonna get out of here, right? Serious. When this is all over, I wanna get reborn or for serious, or I mean, reborn as someone serious. Well. Hey, are you okay? That sounds like something someone who's about to die would say. Hmm. I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there aren't gonna be any more murders. Um, huh. What makes you so sure? To the I predicted it last night. Since it revealed itself to me from the ether, there's no doubt about it. However, How accurate is your fortune telling? Anyways. How about that? I can usually hit 20 or 30% on a good day. Hmm. <laughs> that, that seems really low. Yeah. It's not like some occult well, yeah, it's not like it's... Well, yeah, it's not like it's ESP or whatever. Of course I'm only gonna get it right, get it right sometimes. It's ESPN. Don't you know that? I told you, my fortune-telling isn't some sort of occult thing. So, um... Fortune-telling isn't occult? Of course not. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put it in the same category as cattle mutilation. Cattle? What? So... He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. Actually, No, you're calling it an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it happened to me. Hmm. It all happened one day when I went to get a hamburger. 
We're gonna see a flashback. It was a place when I it's a place I'd never been before. They claimed their patties were hundred percent all beef. So I got a burger go to go and headed home. And before long, the sky was filled with mysterious blinding light. We are gonna see a flashback. And as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in midair. And then, still floating there, the entire burger started coming apart. One part of it just vanished, while the rest fell back into my hand. Do you realize what that means? It means the burger wasn't 100% beef. It must have had some pork or something mixed in. No, he's probably like right, but like... Pork and 30% beef would be my guess. You can't trick me. So I stormed back to the burger place and got up in the manager's grill and he totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef. They totally mixed in ground pork How with it. That? Now do you see? That is cattle mutilation. I kind of got lost halfway through. I can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You stink of stupidity. Don't be mean. I stink of- How dare you! Well, you do stink though. Hmm. That's fine. That's fine? Um, anyway. Hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah. Me either. I mean, I would never. Of course. Me either. Or no, me either! Nor I. That goes for me too, of course. I can never kill any of my friends. I felt like those words of encourage encouragement were helping us come together as one. After so much sacrifice and hardship, <laughs> you know how many times you've come together as one and then you kill each other after the fact. United, but to be honest, I wish Biakua and Toko were here for this too. But but they're so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. Uh, yeah, well, we're better off without them. I say. I would say their survival tactics have worked at a higher percentage, though, than the rest of the groups. That was enough to prove we were united for the time being, but within that bond hid weakness and fragility. Who's that All supposed the to star be? apologies, huh? Who's that supposed to be on the right? On the right? Yeah. Hina? Oh, the hair was just very different. It's just probably just from the side. Well, to find zoo, I found out we went to explore. Hina's gonna die. Thanks, guys. Hina's gonna die? That's what you think? Well, she was in the photo. And, like, I've noticed there's a high percentage of people who die that are in the photos. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. I'm trying to think. Chapter 1, no. Chapter 2, no. Chapter 3, which we just did, I think one of them was in it. Hmm. The other one was Alter Ego, and I doubt Alter Ego... I think Alter Ego is probably what's going to save them. But... No upstairs. I guess there's no fourth floor. There is a fourth floor. <laughs> I don't know where to go, though. How many floors are there? It's here. How many fourth floors? How many floors? How many fourth floors are there? Yeah. How many floors are there? They'll point it out when we get to the final floor. I want an answer. This isn't exactly spoiling anything. Because you already told me, you know, when, um... That there's six chapters? Yeah. And now that, that's and then the, the, the fourth th floor. Maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it. So there's either four floors or more. Okay, so there's a fifth floor. Okay. Rattle, rattle, no good, doors locked. It's called Data Center. Don't know what's in there. Name played on the door said Headmaster's Room. Headmaster's Room. That must be something worthwhile. Rattle, rattle. The door is locked. Damn it. Looks like a teacher's office. This is the office, but of course there's no hint of any teachers that we'd normally be able to rely on. Just fucking flowers. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, that's not normal. I used to teach back in my day. There's, could... a, there's a flower in the desk. Somehow it makes things feel that much weirder. Okay. <gasps> there's a picture on the floor. This picture. Hmm. What? Celeste? 
Kumi and Sayaka? The smiling faces of three people who are dead now. Classroom without metal plates over the windows. What if it is like a dream? It's exactly the same. Did you have to die to wake up? So this is Inception. Basically. Before Inception came out. Except, wait, if you died in Inception, did that wake you up? Uh... It, it could wake you up or send you into a lower level of the dream world, depending like how Like Limbo you, or whatever the hell they call it. Depending how you died, yeah. It's just like that picture I saw before. There's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal teenager to smile. You know, Celeste just smiling like a teenager. <laughs> just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal life. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. So does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? I don't know, she's clawing his eyes out. And he like looks pretty upset and then obviously, yeah. Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here. Including Sayaka? No, there's no way. Monokuma did it. It must be fake. Yeah. <laughs> You're fake. Monokuma popped out of nowhere and snatched a picture from my hand. You know, here's the thing. I would hold on to it, and I'm just like, no, you can't have it. I don't think he has the strength to do that. <laughs> no, I would put it in my pants. I think Monokuma would get there somehow. A forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on. Then you're saying this picture is real. Hey. There is such a thing as the Nobel Truth Prize, I take first, second, and fourth place. Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you the question, is the picture real or is it fake? Oh, Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? But it's no use, it's just no use. If you try to split something that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. The picture is real, no more, no less. <laughs> Without another word, Manakuma disappeared. So the picture is real? It's really real, then if that's true, if that's the case... It can't be a dream, though, if he's taking pictures of them after they... I said it can't be a dream if he's taking pictures after they've left. Inside the room, a small... The smell of medicine was oppressive. So this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do permanent damage. Hina and Sakura be lost in a deep but friendly conversation. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the Mastermind, but I can't while she's with Hina. Huh, you need something? No, it's nothing. You sure? Okay then. Okay. It's remarkably it's a remarkably big shelf and stocked with all kinds of medicine. Listen, Makoto. Listen. Just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me. Ooh. Okay, Hina, just chill out. There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine. Okay. And what? They even have protein zyme X? That's probably how you pronounce it. Protein zyme X. What's that? The protozyme. A high quality protein drink. It's like, it's nothing like that cheap swill in the warehouse. It's kind of sewer level. Oh. oh, yeah? This is amazing. It's a gold mine. Oh, my prayers have finally been answered. Time to load up some more prayers then. A gold mine, huh? Because it's Friday. Friday. Gonna get down. It's Friday. Music. Why do you have an obsession with that song? It's stuck in my head. It's been stuck in my head for like a month. A month? No, more than a month. Yeah. You've been putting, you've been talking and trying to sing that on this since we first started that. And that was like two or three months ago. I don't know. That was two or three months ago. But it was at least two months ago. Maybe two months ago. It was in May. I'm pretty sure. <sighs> this is the music room. It's hardly even a classroom. It's much more like an actual concert hall. Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So... About the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Ah, well, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked by who? Well, they came from behind, so I didn't have any time to react, and I didn't see who it was. And when I came to, the mountains of 
files and documents were all gone. I'm sorry, I know how important those That's were. Fine. It's okay. I already saw what I needed to in there. I... And I half suspect the mastermind might come after you. What? Because... When I discovered the room, the mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the mastermind actually knew about that room. It would seem but to attack you and steal everything in the room. That must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the identity of the mastermind. Then you knew I was going to get attacked. That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing, though, right? After all, you're a boy. What does she think a boy is? Fine, I understand. Let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said you must not leave? Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Gyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance so... camera. I'm looking into it. I found... If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear she w I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So, then. so, now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? Do you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding Am something. I Am I wrong? Th that's... What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the surveillance, about if you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? We couldn't do that with the earlier topic. Oh um, well. Hey, we're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right about there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when just you don't have any her. evidence for it. Tell her. I don't know if you have a choice, but I haven't found any conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it now, it could just make things much worse. Friends shouldn't keep secret, but there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't give a choice. Don't worry. Sorry I can't tell you not yet. So that's your answer. However. But do you think that's unfair? You were happy to hear what I have to say, but now you're unwilling to share. I'm sorry, I really am. That's fine. It's fine. Goodbye. Peace out, Holmes. When those is her parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone as she threw up some gang signs. I think it made her mad. I've already taken a good look at things around here. There's a lot to think about, but for now I should go back to the dining hall and talk to everyone about how they found absolutely nothing of note besides that picture. Not long after I got into the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a few minutes... Hmm... So, is this everyone? Okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. Yeah, good idea. Talk to me, Kyoko. I'm Kyoko. She's ignoring me. So, um... Hey, Makoto. Does Kyoko seem upset to you? That's right. She is, isn't she? She's totally mad. Yeah, it looks like it. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Ah, this is bad. Sakura, you're not mad at me, are you? Metal sheets had been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budged an inch, because that's all I can look for. Just like everywhere else. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. You found a lot of interesting mm. stuff, right? I found a couple of rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and the headmaster's room. The headmaster's room? That sounds exactly like the kind of place we'd find some clues. If we can somehow unlock the door and get inside... But... Who cares about a stupid about lock? That? Should be no problem with the wor for, <laughs> for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. Yeah. What was that? Ah. No, please continue. 
Do you say I've got the nicest butt on the block? The curviest hips and tom, is that what you said? Yep. Hell no, I didn't. Hey. Then what Come did you say? Because I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. Uh, knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? That's my room, you know? It is now, anyway. And you're thinking of busting it down? You seriously don't want to piss me off. You can have... Do you have any idea how much bacteria lives in a single bear claw? Um, no, 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 I was kidding. Please don't get mad. I'm not mad, Emoticon. You're totally mad, Emoticon. I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're going to go around having those thoughts, I have no choice but to add, but to, add to the school regulations. Seriously? Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There, that's a rule now, you jerks. Is he gone? Oh man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was going to kill me for serious. He said breaking it down is, but not unlocking it. But if he would go out of his way to make up a rule like that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. And now that it's a rule, there's nothing we can do. Uh, That's wrong. He said huh? breaking the door down is against the rules, not... Breaking the door down is against the rules. Yeah, not but how can they not unlock? Not picking the lock. You think they can pick a lock? You think any of them have the skills to pick a lock? Maybe. There was a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor, but it had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay. Or and it had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. <sighs> I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Hmm. Oh, but it's not all good stuff, though. There was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, there was a bunch of different types of poison. Poison? Mm. They were all labeled clearly, though. So it would be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Still, we'd better make sure we're careful around there. So, we probably shouldn't tell Byakuwa or Toko about the poison, right? Because they're definitely not going to find it. Huh? What do you mean? Well, well, just in case, you know, I'm trying to say. Uh, um, just in case, yeah, I think you're right. However, It's Byakuwa. It won't be long before he's, discover he's discovered it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open? That's, absolute, that's absolutely the work of a mastermind. Mm. So, has everyone said what they need to say? I think so. But it looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. Uh, I've been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone, do something to cheer me up. Um, can I say something? That? It's because my dad was smoking in bed. <laughs> That's... No. I, I have something I'd like to report. So you guys all remember? You remember when I found a picture up on the third floor the other day? You mean the one that showed Mondo, Shihiro, and Leon all together, right? Yeah, I remember. What uh, What about it? Well, I found another one. Another picture almost like that one. Another one? But this time, the picture was Celeste, Fumi, and Sayaka. Huh? They are all smiling. In the classroom, the picture didn't have any metal covering the windows. So, the picture of Mondo, Shihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now, you found one that had Celeste, Hafumi, and Sayaka. But, but how can that... Conspiracy! Monokuma must have faked it. But if the picture is real, then everyone who is in it... There would have been... There would have have to be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. Yet. What? It can't be, it's a fake. Monokuma said it was real. I know he could just write that off as a lie, but... So then... Then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died. Don't be that way, Kyoko. Because... Huh? That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, that's not it. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refused to do the same. She's being a passive-aggressive, you know, right now. No, that's not. She What's has a going? point. Sure, but she doesn't understand the situation. Well, she's, whose she's fault sort of is the, that? She's sort of the one who's like... Whose fault is that, though? She's the one who has 
preached acting without uh, acting rationally with all the information. So what's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? I understand why she's so angry. Hey, come, on. come on, guys, stop fighting. Or your good luck is gonna float away. Anyway, Makoto, you're thinking too much about it. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. Of He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokumo has to say. You might be right, but still. Are you still so conflicted? What? It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Byakua. You all have the same sunken look on your face. You were all so ugly before, you shouldn't let them sink any lower. <laughs> when I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. You know? Uh, sorry. Just a second. Why are you apologizing? What the heck? Leave us alone, you're not part of this. That's right. <laughs> That's true enough. Your problems aren't mine. We are, and always will be, completely separate. So whatever's causing your faces to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if I happen to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Huh? Did he finally say something useful? Hey. Byakuo, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do some good. Such ignorance. I was in the bath. What else, do you, what else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? Are oh, you saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Didn't he, did he tell him something? Maybe we should all go take a bath. Ah, oh, good idea. Hmm. A mixed bath? Okay. A mixed bath? If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. Mixed bath! Yay! Woo! When I got to the dressing room, Crazy McBall Pants was already there. Toko was sitting there alone on the bench, with the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come here? Uh, to come here, what Alter Ego has to say too? Your problem. I already heard it with m Master. <laughs> with Master. <laughs> you don't have to keep saying it. Anyways, so what are you doing right now? Sh shut up! Stop bothering me. How about that? Get out of the way. We have to talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> No, I made a promise to my master. A promise? <laughs> master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. What, are you his dog? Or like his cat? <laughs> if it's what, what master wants, I'd do anything he asks. A cat would be much more spiteful. Yeah. <sighs> you just love being mistreated. <laughs> well, well... Fine, if you really want me gone, by all means. Hachoo! What? Hey guys, what's going on? Ah, uh, we'd like you to move. Yes. Sure thing! Just kneel before me and bag. First a mega masochist, now a super sadist. Oh, okay. Um, Toko, seriously, I'm asking you like, nicely to let us use the laptop. Didn't you hear me? Or didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg. Loud it. Come on, Makoto. Give her the old one-two combo. One, drop to your knees. Two, besiege. Why are you acting like you're not a part of this? I was as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel down in front of her and said, Please, I'm begging you. Would you please let us use the laptop? <laughs> Such an ultra-miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pent-up anger at Master for abusing me is evaporating. So, even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> Everyone, come closer. I already told Byakua, but I was finally able to crack open the files that were on the laptop. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Oh, I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way, resting the keyboard on my uh, rest, resting on the keyboard. My hand started to shake. Just a second. Move. The single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded. I moved to the. I moved to let her take so over. Then. Here we go. Kyoko Ban typing. The words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found? 
Sure, I analyzed files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particular important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Hope's Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan. But it was meant to be more than just normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. That's... It's exactly... It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... None other than the administrators of Hope Speak themselves. What? Wait, hold on. Then the reason we've been imprisoned here... It wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever. No it was the school itself. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Ultra Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. It seems that the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they describe that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What does that mean? What? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, Hope's Big Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is one year ago, this thing, this tragedy took place. And whatever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as kind of as a kind of staging ground. They planned to sequester the students here where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, um... But why would Hope's Peak's administrators want to shut everyone uh, shut everyone in like that? Hey. And what could this tragic event possibly been? In a flash, Kyoko typed their questions in the computer, and the answer we got was, Sorry, I don't know. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. And that's all he said. To be out of Fumi's not here to masturbate now. What use would that be? I don't know. She could then, have some additional use. Or he could have some additional Oh my. Then, is this really the end? We get halfway through the answer and that's it? It would appear so. Disappointing. Oh wait. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think this might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? Gyoko's fingers move even faster than they had so far. Did you forget the Mastermind's identity? No. That I still don't know, but I did find a clue, I think. The one leading Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak Headmaster. So that same person may very well be the Mastermind who planned all this out. So according to the files, the Headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. The Headmaster is here in the school? Then that's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself the headmaster, right? Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. Serious. But if we break down the door to his office, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I... I'll find a way. Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. You know what? No matter the cost. She's really intense. So, um... what? Kyoko, what's going on? I said she's really intense. I haven't seen her show this much emotion. Uh. I... Nope, there it goes. I Goodbye. can't explain why. I just know that I have to find him. She has to? Kyoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the ma mastermind, her reaction was almost violent. So we should see if Ultra Ego has any more information. That seems to be her attempt to regain some of her composure. So she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? I'm sorry, that's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. I'm really sorry. Then it's really all over. Wait, Alter Ego seems to have more to say. It's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. I haven't seen Celeste, Afumi, or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was flat and a precise clicking of the keys as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. What? I see. Certainly, I know that was a possibility, but... Oh, it really happens. Oh, sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Well, then I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job, thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? And maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kind of tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. 
that the laptop entered sleep mode. <laughs> I see. I see. Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But... But I kind of feel sorry for him. But... You feel sorry? But he's just a computer program, right? Well... I know, but still, he did everything for... Everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. I mean, yeah, I did, but... That's what a computer pr program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer good job every time you shut it down, do you? Hmm. Well, no. But when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Oh, hey, come on. It's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? But, you know, what's the difference between us and that program, really? Huh? I started thinking about how you differentiate a person in an AI. Alter Ego isn't human. I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our That's friend. Right. Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> There's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends the merrier, right? That. Check this out. Friendship is has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival. So, so anyway. What? What? Don't go so anyway on me. It's a totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from where I don't remember place. Hey. Anyways... There's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. I Am I wrong about that? No, but... Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who and is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. The story's gotten off a of track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um... Yeah, good idea. What was the Hope Speak staff thinking? What? Why are they making us kill each other? Alter Ego said th that what happened one year ago is what started everything. Well. Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen a year ago? Um. I don't remember anything happening. You could describe that way, but what about you guys? I don't really watch the news, so... Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway. The event, that event led to the closing of Hope's Peak. At the very least. If nothing else, it must have had some kind of connection to the school. What? What? Maybe all the students here were killed or something. However. That kind of catas catastrophe, the kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. Then maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us knew that the school had been shut down. To totally covered up. Something like that, I suppose it's not totally impossible. What's wrong with our government? Our tax pays their salaries, they should be handling stuff like that. Anyway. Maybe, but right now, here's only one path. There's only one path open to us. So... We have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Correct. Academy. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what? As long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko. You said headmaster, I got that feeling again. But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Mm. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business is done here. And for now, we should get out of here. Uh, um... Oh yeah, good idea. Then I. Achoo! Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean. Oh no, I I'm not wait waiting anymore. Oh no, I'm I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not not guarding it. Biaki was gonna be be so mad at me. Let's avoid getting involved any further. Good call. But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. Hey there, buddy. My heart is bon, bon, bonding away. It's bonding with anger. You're not still mad about the whole breaking the headmaster room thing, are you? Oh, that little thing doesn't matter even a little. And I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an indecent mixed bath, but that doesn't matter either. It's building. I feel it building. 
My head's about to boil over with rage. Please. Don't get angry. Here, let me help you center your chakra. Etch this onto the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back. An eye for an eye, fang for a fang. Huh? Fang for a fang? <laughs> Be careful, he just chanted the incantation of devastation. No, it's just a say. Hmm. Oh, I see. What's he talking about? Bong, bong, bong. So, it's nighttime? Hey. What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it'll make me feel better that way. Um, I agree. True. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. So everyone headed back to their rooms. Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious for the rest of the night. Once I was back into my room, I got lost in thought. What we'd learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my head. The administrators of Hope Speak had planned all this, and they did because of the tragedy which had happened a year before. And apparently the headmaster is the one behind it all, the mastermind. And these mysteries make me worried. I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Let's talk a little about where I was before I became a bear. At first I was a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. The lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shimp. She was like, oh, that company's been trying to push this for forever. It's a really incredible offer. But as she laid out the details, it turned out it wasn't a tiger prawn like I'd hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. I was totally tiny. It would have been the world's smallest mascot. I was like, eating shrimp? I don't want to be one myself. Plus, someone might come along and step on me. So then the lady totally started laughing at me. She was like, Oh, you think we can do a tiger prawn on our budget? <laughs> so ultimately, I decided to become a bear instead. And it's the secret origin story of Monokuma. Apparently, it wasn't that big of a cliffhanger. Nope, not even close. <laughs>